And we're still so good at making no, content. No, we got we got to figure it out now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would think. I read this book called The Checklist Manifesto in 2010 and I'm like, "Yes, I am going to It's it's the whole the whole thing about it is like airplane pilots no matter how long they've been doing this still go buy a checklist and that's why it's safe." I don't know why we I have I don't in all the years that we have worked together, have we ever had a physical checklist? No. Yes. yes. Did we? We yes. did. How Jeffy Jeffy, uh, the oh, I the think time you're implemented yes. a <laughs> checklist because we I, messed up so many times. I can't believe you remember that. That is crazy. Yeah, that I wow. Talk about a memory that was completely lost. Yeah, okay. For context, listeners, this is the second time around of us <laughs> trying to do this exact podcast because the first time we lost some content. Uh, we did. and you would think that we would know better, but it's, it's, <laughs> obviously, it's we don't. No one's fault on why. Uh, every time we lose something, it's someone else's fault. It's, it's all it, of well, our it's faults. everyone's it's fault. It's my fault, for not but the, the only reason we had to reshoot is because when someone else loses audio, I save us by recording all the other tracks. Except but. this this time it was me, so <laughs> <laughs> no one else no one else took that step to to back up everyone our, else's track. Our safety boat had yeah. a hole in it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we yeah. we weren't we weren't calling you out. You yeah, know, I, know. Calling I called us out. I called myself out. Well, because we, we've all done it. It's just this is the yeah. first time we had to reshoot because every other time we just used my audio. It's funny because yeah. like we 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 you know we messed up. It's like ah, don't worry, we've got the backup audio. Yeah. Wait a second. He was in charge yeah. of getting the backup. Now, audio. now we have a backup audio that is removed from all of us. Yeah, yeah. and then, if, but if the backup of the backup fails, and the backup <laughs> if fails, we're, if we're all simultaneously struck dead. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh man. So today is actually a very special episode of Ogsog because it is the redo, the R E D E U X. Uh, um, Wait. We, you, what the R E D E U the redo oh the redux <laughs> yeah. the redux okay uh, <laughs> so Part um, de we're gonna we're gonna talk about some topics a second time today you don't know that but we're gonna keep it as I mean they do now <laughs> you uh, just told them well what they do don't do? they don't know the subject but oh but they don't know the, don't, the topic if we don't sound surprised at each yeah. other's answers you'll know yeah. the reason why well also hold on hold on but 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 like this will be an interesting experiment because we're slightly switching some things up some topics are different some topics are the same so yeah. it'll be on you listeners to to decide <laughs> which one <laughs> We already recorded. <laughs> and of course, uh, if if you're listening to this on Spotify, uh, check out the YouTube videos that we have. You can go subscribe there because we do more than just the podcast. Uh, and if you are listening to this, there is a video version, a full video version of this on Patreon uh, with the extended cut. So on YouTube, you don't get every single uh, topic that we go over. So you want to be sure that you're tuning into the Patreon uh, YouTube. Nope. Patreon.com slash Ogsog has some really cool tiers where we do custom videos for you guys. We do react videos, which are really fun. Um, so, yeah, go check it out. And um, this is the Ogsog podcast, and I'm the Jovenshire. I'm Mari. No, I don't want to do that. I'm Lasercorn. <laughs> I forgot we did this last time. And then there's this guy I who refuse. just keeps saying, I don't want to do it, but we don't know what his yeah. name is. Oh, yeah. We just spent all this time saying that we've filmed this before, and then the second time, somehow the intro got worse. Wait, yeah, hey, remember, yeah. hold on. Remember last time we got done recording, and I was like, hey, my green screen filter was on the whole time? It was just on, but I just turned it off. Ooh, so. we're already doing better, baby. We're doing better than last we're time. Sorry, you just time. turned it off after you started recording? Well, yeah, but, you know, <laughs> now now it's great. <laughs> so, yes, on the Oxlog podcast, uh, we have, you know, one of the four of us will kind of host that particular episode where we get to choose a bunch of topics that people have sent in. Um, nobody knows which ones I'm going to pick. Well, they kind of know today. <laughs> um, and then we'll we'll go through and we'll chat about them. We'll, uh, we'll reminisce about a few things. We'll... All team up and hate one person in particular, but no one knows who or when it'll happen. That's <laughs> that doesn't does that, that hasn't happened ever. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> what are these new rules? Uh, you hey, you if if so, he can come up with lore. I can come up with rules, right? I, oh, is, I don't, I'm not coming up. I'm uh, look grumble grumble. I'm grumble. not grumble, coming up with lore. I'm angrily. simply retelling the the ancient scrolls of 
how Ogzog was born. So, but is it like you know the Catholic Church in like the 1500s where you're getting these old uh, 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 scrolls and you're just retranslating them to fit your biases? I mean, nobody truly knows what happened. But are you gonna go ask Ogzog? Because I'm not gonna bother him. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not messing with him. <laughs> uh, so, hey, this is a podcast uh, that is airing in the month of December, uh, and what? better time of year to kind of take a, a little bit of time to reminisce and and think about i think an event we all miss very fondly the very first smosh winter games yeah. smosh oh. winter game whoa i didn't know we were going to talk about oh. this whoa. What? by the way uh, i have to add i did not have my lights on so i was very <laughs> dark <laughs> wait today just get better and better <laughs> I, and better I as, just as turned them on <laughs> <laughs> giving you shit about you. <laughs> so if you are checklist. watching on Patreon, you can see this episode progressively get better. All right, last checks. Anyone missing a light or a filter or a microphone? I don't know. It's good. I mean, I, I, I think I'm in focus. I could readjust it real quick, but you know. So uh, back in 2016 was the very first Smosh winner game. Games. I can't believe, wait, are you sure it wasn't 20? Oh, are you sure it wasn't 2015? I feel like he's looking at something to show that it is the right year. I, I'm going off of what we talked about last time because in the first time we talked about this, Mari said the peak or the best time in Smosh Games history was 2015, and this would have been 2016. We did uh, film in January, you're right. Yes. Uh, yeah. it, I think, I, I say that 2016 is the apex of Smosh Games. And Smosh in general, and I can't say that, uh, but for Smosh games at least, because after 2016, you start to lose Anthony from the channel. Uh, we start to, uh, we, we lost uh, you guys to um, uh, Toaster Ghost. Uh, <laughs> yes, Toaster Ghost is why we left. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you had a calling from a, a ghost and a toaster. Uh, but like it's not it's not that anything after 2016 was bad. It was just like 2016 I think was the apex, and so the 2015 was that lead up where just like we were touring, we were going on crazy vacations with each other, so uh, traveling many the world, conventions, these weird shoots that we were putting way too much money into. It was great. <laughs> not our money, Defy Media's money. Yeah, and, and then they went the under. Who knew why? Oh. Maybe because we got a mansion in Big Bear to film a month's worth hey, of content? Hey, hey. It wasn't us. It was it not was a mansion. Embezzle. It wasn't a mansion. It was the embezzling yeah, was by the president and the CEO. Yeah, that's Let's true. get it straight. Oh, yeah. That's what did it. Keith but Richmond. we did spend a lot of their money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. It was Thank 2016. God. I don't know why I felt the need to check you, but yeah, and it, it was. You should. You're right. I, I should never be left unchecked in ego or my facts just life yeah do you guys remember because this was after obviously the first summer games mm -hmm. um so now we kind of had like the full crew together do you guys remember the pre-production going into uh smosh winter games and like anything about it like why we were doing it or, or or like the creativity going into it i just remember i mean the reason we were doing it is because summer games was so successful um, I think that there was just a call probably at the company for like new tent poles or whatever. Yeah. And it was like, like sales well, hey, can definitely sell this. Why don't you make it bigger? And we definitely never did, right? Summer yeah, games and winter it. games were really, did really hard ever sell? to sell. <laughs> I think I one think of them might have sold had one. Like yeah. A, yeah, after the fact, maybe a Hot Pockets. I don't know if it was a Kellogg's thing. Yeah, they sold like end cards or something after the fact one time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think the company thought it was going to be really easy to sell <laughs> because it's like, we're going to pump out like 20 videos within a month and all of it will be branded with your content. And everyone was, was like, nope. Can well, I tell you thing. why? No, it wouldn't, no, have, it wouldn't have been hard to sell. It's just that the company was very greedy and wanted a yes. billion dollars for it. Yes, I remember hearing yeah. and I, I don't know any official confirmation, but the rumors flying around were that a minimum that the sales team would sell a Smosh Games video for was $50,000. I thought it was 125000 It's possible that it got up to 125000 yeah, toward the end of our life cycle, but yeah. like... <laughs> at, at the end of our at lives? The, Wait, at the, at the end of At the end <laughs> of the died? lives of OG Smosh Game. At and, the, at the end of uh, the run like, of us on the channel. Any brand deals that Smosh Games made, we did not see any of that no. money. Oh, zero, we zero dollars. We tried to, we tried to we negotiate also, it multiple times, and they were just like, "Are you are you joking?" 
And we mm. also never got any of the AdSense from views and clicks. Yeah. Which yeah. No. A we just got paid a salary. A content creator would get, you know, mm. like that yeah. that would be the incentive to keep making videos is mm. that it would get views and you would get paid. Um yeah, we were just on a salary. So but, no matter how good we did and or and bad, when we won a streamy, <laughs> I don't think sad. anyone even came in initially to congrat no one congratulated no. us. We oh. wanted to <laughs> We won a streamy our first year doing the channel. Smosh had been up for streamies multiple times before that. Never won. Our first year doing Smosh games, we won a streamy, and no one congratulated us. Mm. Do you think that's the reason Ian and Anthony wanted to make a gaming channel is because they couldn't get best comedy channel? They're like, but if we can get over to the gaming channel, we can definitely beat the well. A gaming channel was just there. easy money, and they they were good at it. I mean, they were good at making let's plays. I watched their old stuff. It was fun. Yeah, what I remember about the whole, the reason Smosh Games even came to exist was they had just done a random brand deal on like Ian, like the second channel or whatever for The Sims and it like blew up and they were like, oh, I guess we should get into gaming. Mm, it was it was more it was more so a Barry Blumberg thing who was president of Smosh for a very long time before the merger with um, Break Media and before the merger with um, Alloy. And oh, clever. And and clever, yeah. So he wanted to diversify the cast more, which is why Smart. I was brought on in 2010. And then in order yeah. to continue doing so, Mario was the diversity so, hire. <laughs> I, I wanted to I diversify. The, <laughs> I was the expansion diversity hire. <laughs> yeah, they wanted to diversify the cast more, so they hired three white guys to make hey, their hey, gaming hey, channel. Hey, hey, Anthony's ha he's, he's he's half Filipino. Oh, Come true, on. true, true. <laughs> uh, but you know, though we didn't get money off of the back end of anything Smosh Games did. That is one of the reasons why, you know, we were very happy to, you know, spend budget on going to a cabin for three or four days in Big Bear to film content. And, you know, Summer Games was so much fun, but on such a small scale, like we would show up in the morning and go home at night. Um, and this was like full on, bring your suitcases, we're gonna dorm up together. It like, was yeah. a sleepover. It was a slumber party. We were all in the same giant room. So this cabin that we rented in Big Bear was used for um, like like Christian sleepaway camp, I think. And yeah, so they would do camps there. So then they would have uh, Is that like why full there were size crosses all over the place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why I felt I the Holy demonic. Spirit. I wonder if my soul. I wonder if the fact. <laughs> I wonder if the fact that it was so religious there was why Joe Beretta came up with the idea for Sex Tub. <laughs> oh, I doubt it. I it's doubt it. the inspiration. It. Um, but yeah, but there were like bunk beds for like adults to, to be in there. So we were in this giant room with like 20, no, maybe like 10 bunk beds. One, two, oh, more. three, four, well, five against the one wall. Wow. Six, well, look at you, Mr. This? Memory. Why do you remember Eight. this? Why Mr. Did you memory have photographic man. memory. Three against that wall and then two on the other. So yeah, there were ten bunk beds. <laughs> no, I think there were more than that. I'm <laughs> almost I'm almost no, that's positive. 20 people. That's twenty Definitely people. Five there, three there, and two there. Maybe there was two against the the wall to the right as you walked in. It's like, yeah, ten beds. 10 no, beds. there 20, was twenty mattresses all together. Yes, I'm I right. thought there yeah. were like three on the left. And then I thought there were like a couple oh, on the oh, right. This is just level. riveting, okay, riveting anyways, content. Just there counting were <laughs> how many beds. <laughs> how many are bunk beds one. were there? Bunk bunk beds. Paco, cut all this out for the YouTube version. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Uh, I don't you know what would help? Counting content. Remember, remember when we remember when we took that photo of us all hanging off of the bunk beds? That oh, would help us right. determine. That would help right now. I where is I that? No one knows where that is. I but, do. Like to give you an idea of like this just the tone of us going to this place was like, there were really nice rooms, some of which had sex hot tubs in the rooms. And they all were the not, cast, They were just hot tubs. No, they we were specifically for, fe tub. for sex. Nope. Joe that, Beretta sex told tubs. me it was for sex only. And I why believe was, him. Wait a second. Why was Joe Beretta taking you <laughs> off to a corner and whispering to you that these tubs were specifically only sex tubs? It's like, they're only for sex. I don't know. So that he knew I couldn't like, go in it. Yeah. I thought I was going to bathe in yeah. that, but okay. Yeah, he's like, no. <laughs> uh, and so even though there were these nice rooms with arguably sex tubs or just normal hot tubs. The world may never know. <laughs> the entire cast, we were just like, 
Yeah, we're gonna bunk with each other down in this weird basement with a bunch of uh, um, uh, bunk and crew. Beds. Look, we and won't say we won't say who instantly claimed the largest room with the big hot tub, <laughs> but you can guess. <laughs> you can guess. I you mean, it's guess. pretty. Oh, I'll, I'll send this to Paco. It's pretty adorable. This is from the following year. How did you but... find it so fast? Send it to all uh, of us. Were you I just did... sending it to Paco? I want to see it in the break room to get to this this dungeon of of. Uh, of uh beds beds thank you uh you actually had to go through like a rec room to get there which had um a ping pong table a pool table another tv down there uh and so this is normally just like where we were like all hanging out mostly just like playing games or just like hanging out and talking getting to know each other it literally was like camp i think i don't yeah. do you guys ever do like summer camp growing up i was a camp counselor that's where i met my wife i didn't go to camp as a oh, kid though. that's right yeah. that's pretty cute but i but i know what you're talking about Joven. yeah it, when i was a counselor there was a common room where all the kids would hang out and like they had ping pong tables and stuff as well i did outdoor science school once but that was a very different experience for me i did uh less pleasant oh my god can i, I, see I did boy scout camp a couple times and man no that we didn't have any fancy things we we had tents and we had freaking you know polar bear swim it was miserable <laughs> i always did camp but um it was always not co-ed so i would go to like horse camp and stuff but it was not co-ed and then i was a horse girl i was a horse girl yeah and then i I, I was shit. went to sixth grade um uh, outdoor ed but i had to leave early and that was the first co-ed camp with my school and i was so sad that i couldn't go um, I had to leave early for ballet, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is probably why I've always been so mad at you know, ballet. <laughs> you know, what's funny is now looking at this picture, uh, I think. Oh, which, okay, have... just describe which picture you're you're looking at so that the audience can. Yeah, I'm, so I'm so looking at. Put it on screen. I'm looking at the bunk bed picture, and now seeing this, there's only three against that wall and one against the other one. I think there were two on the left when you came in, so it's very possible that there were only six beds. That can't be right. That can't be right. There was there were so many because the editors and uh no, this picture. Who got like the good rooms because we took the shitty room. Well, and some I How remember we some of the that? people that didn't want to sleep in the barracks, like they were uncomfortable sleeping in the barracks, got their own rooms. I think there was yeah. something about some something about camaraderie, but really it's like let's just stick all the cast down in these bunk beds. Yeah. <laughs> Except I'll, I think I'll, like Sarah and Olivia and um, Courtney were in a room. Were they? Yeah. Was Courtney yeah. not down there with us? Um, no. I know, like, as time would go by, like, the first night would be fine, and then, like, progressively, like, the allergies would get worse for people, and oh. so... The, the farting! The, well, the farting... Oh, the farting! The farting and on the top snoring. Of the snoring, oh. the, the reason snoring is... farting so much this first year is because the catering was yeah. all vegan. Yeah, vegan. <laughs> And it's yeah, that not was that rough. anyone has anything against vegan food, but because Anthony was there, he was like, the catering has to be vegan, not just like vegan options. So we did vegan. That's cool. You're the guy in charge. Awesome. Problem is, nobody's gut was ready for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah no. everyone had bubble guts. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're just man. in this heated room, all in the same room. It's like the scene from Blazing Saddles. God, I'm so old. Um, That's even old for your generation. Jeez. Yeah. One of the greatest comedies of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Peter loves yeah. Blazing Saddles. I've seen it. It's <laughs> pretty good. Brooks is, uh, you is two old men. <laughs> um, but but yeah, not only was it just oh. vegan? But these caterers, this is where like the in joke for mushrooms came from, and not like have a good trip mushrooms, but like every meal was every. served with mushrooms. Every dish gravy with had mushroom. mushrooms in it. Salad with mushroom. Soup with mushroom. Breakfast with mushroom. Oh my gosh, like they had breakfast sandwiches and they had mushrooms in it. had in mushrooms it. in it. Why would why is wait, it in why everything? They, wait, wait, I didn't know that. I ate those breakfast sandwiches thinking that they were just delicious like McDonald's-y sandwiches. No, no, no. It just <laughs> had on mushrooms in one everything. One of the last days, one of the last days they miscalculated their food and they did. They went out and bought um, uh, the breakfast sandwiches from McDonald's, oh, but then just kind of laid them out as though they had made them. <laughs> you know, you know what's funny is I remember that the most probably because it was the sweet relief from the vegan food. <laughs> Wait, hang on. There's no vegan breakfast sandwiches at McDonald's. Did no that 
That's what he's saying. They, no, yeah. they went, ran out of food, like, so they, they just went to make food. Right, it was but, after but, Ian and oh, Anthony, Anthony had left. left. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they had a shoot or something. So we had, to, for the first winter games, in three or four days, we shot an entire month of content. Like, we did a great job. Yeah, we yeah. back to back uh, to back were filming or something. everything. Yeah. yeah, it was and exhausting. So we had to get all of their stuff done first in the first mm -hmm. two days so that they can leave. And then we had McDonald's for breakfast. But it's all, like, kind of cold, too. Um, it's, like, Dude, the Big Bear equivalent to, like, you know, Trump bringing the basketball team over and there was just McDonald's everywhere. It's like, here, oh, enjoy this cold no. plastic McDonald's. Oh, that's yeah. a terrible analogy. I'm, uh, I'm surprised we didn't film any green screen inserts just so Ian and Anthony could say stuff <laughs> like, like they're nice. Going. That wow, sucks. that's <laughs> sick. Yeah, this, uh, is, this is a reference. You keep making these these inside baseball references, mm. and you have to tell people where it's from. Well, for yeah, those we watching talked about our react before. content on yeah. Patreon, we've reacted to some of that content. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I'll explain briefly. So when we first started the channel, Ian and Anthony couldn't be in everything. Obviously, they were still in Sacramento. And so they're like, okay, they can't be in everything, but what if they film some like pop in set things in front of green screens? So in some of the old videos, they just pop in and go, nice, or that sucks, <laughs> and then they disappear. <laughs> or and the, people uh, I think hated one of them, it. One of <laughs> they them, they each so recorded much. a couple things of them going like, B -b 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 bitch. <laughs> <laughs> people that was, like, hated their thing that back so then, much. Was saying bitch. Yeah. Was that one used? I, probably. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Who I, has that content? We need it now. We need uh, it all over our content. <laughs> um, I I do want to mention that I think um, this might have been this winter games might have been one of the more in like dangerous in mm -hmm. uh, not encounters but like trips. I mean, they were ever had. They were all dangerous. I feel like we kept upping how what we can do with these things, but yeah. And, and it was yeah, wrong. It was, like, yes, Mari almost died at two different shoots. But this... Did you like, just wave your hands around while you said that? Yeah. I think I saw you wave your hands around, you But asshole. it was also like this culture where it was like you were made to feel like you weren't a team player if you weren't participating in these activities. I remember in the second uh, Winter Games, my back got all shredded up, and I felt, like, good about it because I had done something wacky for the video and that's not right like i slid down this icy hill on my bare back yeah and like got shredded <laughs> I just, up and i was just like yeah i did it i was in it can it's i just say jackass jackass. can yeah. i just say i completely disagree that they are these were dangerous trips and here's uh, i'll give you some backstory into this they were pretty safe and tame for me every year in college i went on a ski trip with the ohio university ski club and Every single one of those trips I went on was infinitely more dangerous, like snowboarding <laughs> through wooded areas where we shouldn't be on closed trails, to well, taking over snowmobiles that weren't ours, dangerous levels of of drinking in beer bongs yes. where people well, should have died college, of alcohol poisoning. You were an idiot. <laughs> what? I was younger. Well, just was because a, you did way more a, dangerous things doesn't mean the things yeah. that we weren't doing, like this was having a people do naked almost work trip. Yeah. Well, well the, you mentioned like the hypothermia hot tub thing, running out and jumping in the snow. That was something we did as part of ski club, as just like a goof, and like we didn't really think anything of it. So, well, like, where you guys have these yet, memories of this yeah, like but, dangerous but Gordon, you trips? Also, oh yeah. You also used to fight inanimate objects. Yeah. And, like, Go skitching and Well, yeah, I was much more drunk for all of this. Yeah. But <laughs> for all of the OU the ski club trips. Yeah, but I still but I still remember thinking back, I'm like, man, those trips were kind of tame danger wise. I mean they were they were definitely fun and exciting as like interacting with people and playing games, but like danger wise, I never I never really had the same feeling of Yeah, like, okay, you well, had done so, dumber things, but let's yeah. look through this playlist real fast. Some of the stuff that we we did here was you we had um Sowinky almost having to go to the hospital because of the hot sauce um, ice cone. Oh, yeah, he had some uh, bad uh, tummy cone. shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah like, was... You were minutes away from being like, nope, I'm ringing the bell. Let's go to and, the hospital. And this we is somebody go. who uh, has was... hot stuff all the time. Yeah. There was a so medic. he can have some heat. And it yet. was like yeah. definitely on me. I was trying to show off because like uh, the hot stuff genuinely doesn't bother me. But it was the first time I had ever had stomach problems with something hot. 
because I was essentially just drinking ghost pepper hot sauce. Also, <laughs> that, oh that medic was bullshit. He was He's standing over me like, "You want to go? You want to? Yeah. You want to go to the? You want to go to the hospital?" That's his job. And he was yeah. definitely he like That's lazy it. about it. He's like, "If you want to go." We can but go. also like, <laughs> fun, dude. We're here in a cabin. Like, what do you want? But to also be? like, dude, He's I like, remember. I'll drive you, but it's like cold outside. Man. We talk about Noah uh, getting hypothermia by from doing the Just Dance hot tub uh, video, where then we had to do snow angels in our bathing yeah, suits. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, that I remember dancing with him, and then later on, him just being like, "I can't," like he's like, "I think I'm hot." And we're like, "I think we're, you, we think you're cold." <laughs> he couldn't Stay tell away if from he was the light, Noah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was that was pretty bad. We did the that bowling, uh, like snowboarding, not snowboarding, uh, sledding, bowling, human video. bowling. Oh yeah. yeah, we did it on the tubes, right? Yeah, on the tubes with these giant styrofoam pillars that they, they were like they resembled like bowling styrofoam. Pens. Like, hey, look at this. We're putting this in. Like, these were big, thick, heavy pieces of styrofoam that, from the moisture in the air, were sitting out for so long they, they froze, froze and yeah. got more compact. And oh yeah, my yeah. dumbass thought, wouldn't it be fun to go head first into it? I lucky I was wearing a helmet because like I hit, and I felt it in my toes. Uh, feel all jittery, and I like Ooh. fell off to the side. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna stay here for a minute. No, yeah. we're fine. Yeah. Did you did you get any headache or anything after that? I don't. I don't remember. Brain, brain injury, a little brain shake. Like <laughs> I I don't know. I've been slurring ever since. Is that? <laughs> is that <laughs> That's where the that first Jovanism came from. Yeah, he started misusing. <laughs> oh, he started misusing God. words directly after <laughs> that experience. But not only did we have great friendships that really kind of came from winter games, but looking at this playlist, also some great rivalries were born yeah. in the winter games. So hinky. <laughs> What's, oh yeah, we, winter games, well, so the first, um, the first thing we did, right, was, was the first thing we filmed, the T-Rex race, or is that just the first video that went up? I think it was one of the first, it wasn't one of the first things we filmed. But either way, the, for some reason, like, well, we knew our matchups and it was me and Shane, and neither of us wanted to take it seriously, so we got together and we we're like, what are we going to do? And we're like, let's just like have this insane fight. Like, We won't even finish the race. Um, but oh, then, I forgot like, about that. Yeah, so we orchestrated this whole fight. We like had all the moves planned and everything so that like we wouldn't get hurt. <laughs> and then we're running, and like on the first move where Shane like tackles me, we just had this incidental, like accidental shin-to-shin -shin contact. <laughs> and Their shins made out. It was extraordinarily painful, and I had this giant, like, welted bruise on my shin the entire time that we were shin there. Kiss. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, uh, but yeah, it, that's mean, where the Shane and, and Soinky rivalry started. To wrap up Winter Games. To uh, wrap up Winter Games, yeah. Yeah, to kind of keep it almost a, a little quick, do you guys have any, like, favorite moments that might have been off camera or something that you missed from Winter Games that you wish really kind of, like, bled over into the rest of the series? Like, Mm. Um, oh I mean, God. I'll just go first with the one I, I already did in this previous recording, but my favorite thing uh, about Winter Games, I think we did a video, or, or was it that we did the video next year? Um, this was when we first discovered the Jackbox games, and specifically Quiplash. Uh, it was and we first were just, year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we were just like up super late, just like playing Quiplash, and like it was this like long session doing quiplash where like all these weird inside jokes kept popping back up and we were just laughing and laughing and like it, it was like got so late that everything was funny too so it, like i just had this really fond memory of just sitting on the couch for a while just like looking around taking it in being like like you know back Dope. when i was still enjoying it just <laughs> like this is my job you know it's like so uh, cool like it definitely was like the trip where I think like all the smosh really came together and it's like all right this is what this unit looks like mm, agreed um, so I, I had a answer, but I feel like Joven tells the story better, um, about the cooking on the mm, last day. Mm. You tell that story. I'll have, uh, I'll have a different answer. So remember Ian and Anthony left early, uh, and we were still having some vegan food and we found out while we were at the top of this mountain in Big Bear that there was a giant storm coming in the next day. One of the bigger storms to hit Big Bear that season. And so we 
actually let our um, we told our our catering company it's like hey you guys get out of here like make sure you get down the mountain it's fine we'll go to the store to and we'll we'll do dinner ourselves tonight and apparently everyone else in Big Bear knew about this storm coming in that they were all gonna get stormed in so everyone else had gone to the store before us and pretty much picked it clean so we were going through like some some cast went down some crew went down and we were just like picking off the shelves on whatever was left having like this eclectic meal uh that we were all going to prepare ourselves and so we have like eight ten people in the kitchen just like rotating on the stove someone's in the oven um just making different dishes as like this weird family potluck all at the same time and so like i remember someone like take saying like all right bacon's done great i'm throwing in the steak like it was that kind of we were so happy to have meat actually at that point in time <laughs> yeah. uh and it was just so much fun i think so inky and i had like a very similar thought where it's like we made this like this is this was like this big family moment where it's like this is everything this is the like it had all led up to that. It was very mm-hmm. fun. It was very heartwarming. Uh, one of my favorite experiences. The, the meal podcast. ended up being like really good. But I, when you told the story uh, the first time, I re- like I you like unlocked that memory for me in in the same way as some of these other stories. And I'm like, <laughs> I remember going to that store, and and yeah, there being like so little left in the store is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, like all right, there's sausages. Enough for everyone. <laughs> No, no. It was, yeah. it was definitely like the type of meal where it's like you you bring to the table what you know how to cook, and then you just take the ingredients that's available. And sometimes it's the best kind of cooking. It's like the type yeah. of like stews or like fried rice and like stuff mm. like that, where you're just like, I'm not really sure what's in it, but it's just an amalgamation of stuff, and that's why it tastes good. But I don't know. It was there's so much it's love fun. in that kitchen. Yeah. Uh, I would say I think that even better than that, one of the greatest things to come from. Be- oh, Smosh better than better than that. Okay. Is uh, and we're all waiting for his return, though he might be around us, and we haven't oh, seen yes. him yet. Pizza Ninja. Pizza Ninja. <laughs> I lost those uh, pizza pajamas, unfortunately. So Pizza Rip. Ninja had to retire, but I'm sure I can buy more. Pizza Ninja will return. <laughs> I've never been. I, I, think, I think I actually got so fat that the pajamas ripped at some point. Oh they were God. already like a size too small, but they were the last <laughs> pair of pizza also pajamas doing, in the store. Like, Couch parkour in them, so you yes, probably that's just true. ripped yeah. a hole in I'd the probably, butt. I probably ripped them. Uh, yeah, Pizza Ninja may return one day. I don't know. Maybe we'll do an <laughs> Og Sog uh, Big Bear trip, and Pizza Ninja will return. Ooh, oh, so Pizza Ninja is only significant a resident. Others. Yeah, a Big Bear. <laughs> yeah, Pizza Ninja is only a Big Bear resident. Uh, gotta go back up. Maybe we'll find a new channel to uh, interact with. Uh, which, hey, if you're on a platform where you can leave some comments, obviously no. We know who you would love, like the the obvious answer, and who you'd like to see us like do a like a competition series against. But what other channels? What other uh, what, what other groups and brands do you think we should do like a Smosh or a Smosh and Ogsog Winter Games style content with? Uh, we want to hear. It. Mm-hmm. Warp, yeah. zone. Warp Zone. Warp Zone. Uh, Rooster Node. Teeth. Rooster Teeth. Fun House. Mm-hmm. 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 All um, good options. Um, yeah, but let us know uh, who you think too. So I don't want to make this whole thing winter games. So we have some other topics here that I wait, I but I didn't get to hit. say my my most fun. Yeah, memory. maybe it's because just, yours wasn't that important. It it wasn't. Wow. It's just sledding. I'm just a child, Sassy. and I, <laughs> I yeah, I enjoy sledding, and it was a good fun time where we all got to sled together and try wacky things, and we even built a little jump, which brought me back to being a child. And yeah. it was a lot. But you of, also don't bounce back as well as you did when you were a child. Yeah. At at that time, what, what were yeah, we, late twenties? I, then, I yeah. still bounced back. Wait, or no? It I was. No, it was past I would hit late the cold. Like, this yeah. is too cold. Uh, Six yeah. years ago, I was twenty nine. So okay. you would have been thirty yeah. something. Yeah, still, I still felt like I bounced back. But yeah, that was fun. And then it was a it was a childlike wholesome video that we then named Human Sledipede, which is like yeah. The worst, speaking of dangerous things, the worst <laughs> name you could give to that. That was Human probably Anthony. Sledipede. That had to have been Anthony. That's such an Anthony name. That's yeah. so nasty and it's so good. Yeah. Oh my god, guys, that has been the Og Sog podcast. I want to thank all of you so much for watching and listening if you're watching on youtube we've got a link down below to the patreon uh, or if you want to listen to the whole version of this episode it's on spotify so links to both of those down below if uh if you know if you're watching on patreon thank you so much for supporting if you're listening 
Give us a dollar. Give us, Give a us dollar your money. And go watch this. Give yeah. us your lunch money, kid. Stop being a freeloader. <laughs> what you do with your money during the holiday season? Uh, All the way no, to Anthony. But- Anthony, what do you have to say about people that aren't subscribed to our <laughs> podcast? They're a b- 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 bitch. Uh, we actually do really want to thank the people that are supporting this on uh, on on Patreon. I, I, it is very like we, the, uh, tr- full transparency. The money that goes into the Patreon goes right back into the channel. We, we have not it, seen a dime. Yeah, we're now having uh, in shoot videos go up on on Wednesday, uh, Wednesdays in December. Or I'm sorry, in studio shoots happening on our Wednesday videos in December. That's because of all the support. So hopefully we'll be able to do more and more of that over time. Um, so thank you, everyone. Uh, it's it's the greatest time of the year. Uh, it's thanks the for watching. Most- Wonder. Bye. 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 Uh, Bye. Bitch. Bitch. Thank you so much for watching this video here on YouTube. Remember, uh, over here on the side, you see all the people supporting the channel on Patreon. You too can become one of those people by clicking the link down below and joining our Patreon. We just love that you're here watching the content. We hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.